Hello everybody and welcome to another online service. I hope you had a great week. I definitely did. Now we're getting ready to start another awesome service. Uh, but before we do, you know what we're gonna do first. We have to pray. So I want you to come closer. Come a little bit closer. Come on. All right. Okay. And then now we're gonna close our eyes. And then we're gonna say a prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for bringing us to another online service. As we learn from our teacher, help us to understand everything that we will learn today. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, everybody, it's time for us now to praise the Lord. So I'll be right here with my guitar, having fun. I hope you have fun too. Clap your hands. Did you have fun? Yes, Sisha Sarah. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us in service today. Thank you for having me. Yay! Sure. So we've been talking so much about faith this month. I am so excited. And today we'll be learning how do we get faith. Bella, do you want to tell me how we get faith? Um, well, we get faith by hearing the Word of God. And mm -hmm. I think by believing the Word of God too. Good job. And also, we get faith by telling people about Jesus. Just like our memory verse tells us in Romans 10 verse 17. Bella, do you want to try the memory verse? Yes, I think I remember. So, mm -hmm. so faith comes from hearing the good news and mm -hmm. people hear the good news when someone tells them about Christ. Good job. And just like how we get faith, we hear the word of God, we believe it and we tell everyone 
everyone that cares to listen about Jesus. And this brings me to Bible story time. We will be watching an interesting Bible story about Jesus raising someone from the dead through faith. So I want us to pay proper attention, listen, and learn something from Bible story. It is Bible story time. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> He had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, I know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Yeah, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus' grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, 
but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. from Bible story. I hope you learned something from that Bible story. I hope you learned about having faith in Jesus. So I want every one of us to go into this week saying, I will have faith in God and believe him for everything he has promised me, for everything he has promised you, for everything he has promised every one of us. The Bible tells us in John 11 verse 40, still about the story of Lazarus. Jesus told Martha, Lazarus' sister, that didn't I tell you if you believe everything is possible so all we need to do is go into this week believing but while we do that we also have to tell everyone that cares to listen about jesus so i want us to go to this week telling everyone about jesus telling everyone to have faith in him and that all their needs will be met Thank you so much for joining us in this beautiful service. And the next time I will be seeing us will be March, which is the third month in the year. I hope you are excited. But before we leave, we have to pray. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for the beautiful opportunity to learn from your feet. I thank you for teaching us about how we get faith. I pray that as we go into this week and the rest of the year, we believe you and trust you for everything you have promised us. I pray that you guide us to, through this week to only do the right things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you next week. Bye! Hi parents and kids! Hello! We hope you enjoyed that! If you did, we welcome you to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Bye-bye!